Welcome to our second video in our series about the equilibrium application and the stuff you can do within our platform during the beta. So today, we're going to cover the insurance pool. Last time we put some money into the lending pool, and depositing assets into the insurance pool pretty much looks very similar. However, you do have to be aware of some of the key differences between the insurance pool and the lending pool. First of all, the APR you see here is the number you'll expect to receive when we launch live, including all the liquidity farming rewards. Secondly, people who deposit liquidity into the insurance pool actually bear some risks in the system. When borrowers liquidate, people who are in the insurance pool get those liquidated debts and liquidated collaterals with some penalty, which is 5% extra, and have to exchange that collateral to cover obtained debt and stay profitable. In return, people who provide liquidity in the insurance pool earn elevated rewards compared to people who just earn passive income in lending pools. So to deposit assets into the insurance pool, I can click the Add Liquidity button straight from here, or I can go to the Earn tab in the side menu. Let's do it the second way because last time we already deposited from the homepage. I'll click the Deposit button on the insurance pool as I want to deposit some USDC into the insurance pool. So I'll hit the Add Collateral button and see what happens next. Sign the transaction, wait till the block gets finalized, and then check my insurance portfolio conditions. Again, you may have to wait a bit, as it takes around 12 seconds for the block to get produced in the parachain. OK, the transaction is complete. Let's go to the insurance pool. As you can see, I have assets present in my liquidity portfolio in the insurance pool and no liabilities. I'll receive liabilities once someone gets liquidated. There's more information about the insurance pool in our documentation, and I urge you to go to docs.equilibrium.io and read it carefully so you understand all the information and risks before you use this product inside the Equilibrium application. For now, that's it on my part, so I'll see you in the next video.